Hello there folks. Here's a quick video today showing how to enable the Ethernet port on a Redline HMI to be able to download to it uh, factory brand new without using the standard USB device port. A lot of people use USB. You can use that, but in this case I'm going to try to enable the download over Ethernet for the first time. So here I have an HMI here and on, on the back of all Redline Graphite HMIs there's a button here called the factory reset button and if you happen to take a small screwdriver and put that into that port there's a small little button there you can hear it clicking if you happen to push that down and hold it down during power up so I'm going to attempt to do this here I'll push it down with that hand I'll take this the other hand here and I'll go ahead and plug my power connector in and if you apply power while you're pushing this down the HMI will go through a power up sequence and it will actually get you into the BIOS operating system here so you'll hear the beep, and then after about the beep's done, you should be able to let the take the screwdriver out of the thing, and then put the HMI over, and you're going to get into the BIOS operating system here that's on the HMIs as you see right here. So what we've got here in the system menu, we've got four options here: database utilities, system utilities, network settings, and continue. In this case, I want to go into the network settings because I want to set up the default IP address of the screen to be this right here which is a nice sticker that my wife made which is awesome look at that anyway I'm gonna go into network settings here now these buttons you actually have to hold them down to get it to register so you see how it turns red you actually have to hold it down click screen and then it navigates to the page so now if I go into here if I want to configure manually I'll go here and say I want to edit or put in an IP address there's the default address I want to use looks perfect I'll hit the enter button here say OK to that commit it and then the rest you can also do a network mask and gateway as well. Once I'm done there, I'm going to hit the back button here. Go back to here, go here. And then if I'm done, that's all I want to do in this little setting, I would hit continue. Let's look at some of the other options we might have in here. Under database utilities, this is where you can clear the actual database. There's none in this, there's not one in this screen right now. There's some image options here. We'll go back to the mist. System utilities. We got a touch menu here, memory menu. I don't know what this does. Ah, you can use that to format things. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> What's under here? Ah, touch calibration. We can do that in your program as well. And it looks like you can also set up the real-time clock and edit that. We're not going to do that here in this example. Whoops. So I'll go back to here. I'll hit back. Everything else looks good. I'm going to hit continue. And now the HMI is set up. It's ready to take a download of that default IP address at the standard port 789. So we're all good to go. So that's how you can configure a Redline HMI to download over Ethernet. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.